So how did my concept evolve and grow? Where did it start? Well, first of all, I am a person who believes in human beings being learning machines. We love to learn. Yes, even if you doubt that right now, we love to learn. When we were kids, we loved to do that. And that's still in us. So we just need to uncover those abilities, those drives that we have in us to be getting back on the path of learning. Well, for me, this means that there is always a before, a during, and an after. Whatever we do in life has a before, where we are prepping, where we are getting ready, where we are trying to understand what are the important factors, parameters that we have to take care of for a certain event, um, learning exercise, game, whatever it is, to yeah, be the way we want to be in that situation. That's the during, right? We are doing something, we're in the middle of something, and we are fully invested in the process. After that, there's the after, right? After we have done something. We can assess what might have gone wrong, what we would have liked to work in a different way. That's that reflection part that I've already mentioned. So everything is about our before, our prepping, our immersing ourselves into an experience and into the learning part, into the reflection, the capturing of what we have actually done so that we can add that to our library of knowledge for the next time. And of course, an after is already a before again. And that's how it starts to evolve. That's how we are growing as human beings and also in our professions. So this concept, this way of thinking, I actually applied this to the structuring of my programs. So when you are part of my program, when you are a participant, then you have the prepping time, you have the before, right? Where you are trying to understand what you're up to, you are getting your ideas together, you're collecting maybe new ideas that you thought you didn't have yet. You are giving yourself the space to capture them, to find those insights that you want to share with others, to assess the values that are driving you, the things that are motivating you, the things you care for. And then you package all that together and you share it with others. You could say it's about pitching, it's about communicating, it's about sharing what you care for and what it is you would like to go, what it is you would like to do, to what it is very, where it is you like to go. See, this is already how complicated things are to share this with others and to become visible with your intentions. During is then a process to go through five stops. Yes, I have created five topics that are the key topics, the key stops, like in, yes, we need to stop, assess and document what we have decided in that stop that are very, very interdependent and connected, of course, remember, feedback loops, so that we can, step by step, capture all the important points that we need to go through, that we need to decide upon for our ideas to grow into products and or services. And then we have an after, if we have gone through this building time, through this process, the collaboration and co-creation program, we are ready to share again. We are ready to pitch. We are ready to show the next step in the development process from your idea into something that is more tangible, that has a lot more weight and values because you actually know 
where you're starting from, where do you want to go? And you know also how you want to shape and form that idea into a product and a service.